the code for add band is very similar to add album. First, we need to make sure that the user is supplying the band information. So we'll use an if statement and once again we'll check if the band equals null. And if it is, we'll throw the argument null exception. So let me just copy that and paste it here. And the cause of this exception is coming from band. And if everything was OK, then we can add it to our context. So we'll go to our context and we'll go to our band's data set and we will add the new band. Now let's see album exists. So this is a boolean that will return false if the album does not exist and true if it does. So this is a fairly simple if statement. We will check if the album ID is valid or if it's not empty. So we will go and do our check for album ID when the GUI is empty. And if it is, we'll have the argument null exception. So let me just copy that again and paste it here. And of course, it's coming from the album ID. So if the album ID is not null, then we can return the result of a query. So we'll do a return and we will go to our context and we are going to our albums data set and check if any of the albums in the data set has that ID. So we'll go and check if the A for album goes into A.ID and if this ID matches the album ID supplied, then it will return, of course, true. And if it doesn't find any, then it will return false. And I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it to band exists because it's going to be very similar, except this time we want to check if the band ID is empty. And if it is, then we'll throw an exception with the name of band ID. And then we can return true or false from the query. But this time we are not going to albums, but to bands that are set and check if any band has the ID. So I'll change this to B for band and check if the band ID of any of the bands equals band ID supplied. Next, let's do the delete album and band. 